Well, thank you very much. It's wonderful to be able to be here. Um, I would like to begin by talking about uh, what inspired me to get going with Flight Lines uh, and uh, a bit about the story um, telling, um, that unfolds as I go through the book. Um, I began to get interested in uh, migratory shorebirds, these long distance ultramarathon birds, um, when I heard uh, that all of a sudden uh, four of them had been listed in Australia as critically endangered, um, I wanted to find out a little bit more about that. I have a background as an environmental journalist and this really piqued my interest. So what I found was Flight Lines is a story of survival really by these astonishing ultramarathon birds that they quietly crossed the globe twice every year, migrating to and from Arctic breeding grounds and traveling to far southern lands such as Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's a story of how these flights were discovered and what the science has meant for the bird's continued existence against today's threats. There are many ups and downs along that route, but I think shorebirds and the science done on them offers us a hopeful path to tread as we try to meet threats like habitat destruction, overhunting and climate change. Um, flight, flight lines is also about another kind of science, medicine, and what it's meant to my survival. And that too is a story of hope. Um, I, in, in thanking people for, uh, for this award, I'd like to begin by thanking the society very much. To receive a Whitley Award for Best Natural History of 2020 is a wonderful validation for me of the worth of flight lines, and I'm thrilled to receive it. Uh, next, I'd like to thank my publisher, Alan Anunwan, particularly Richard Walsh, who guided me to a worthy manuscript, Rebecca Weiss, who's ANU's fearless publisher, and the book's kind editor, Rebecca Kaiser. Uh, there are many in the global confederacy that is the world of shorebird science who gave their time freely to me, um, and that includes uh, its doyen, the late Clive Minton, um, the shorebird whisperer, Maureen Christie in Gulf St. Vincent, South Australia, where I uh, initially encountered these birds up close when, they, when she was uh, masterminding a catch. Um, people like Chris Hassel in Broome, who's a shorebird scientist, travels um, extensively between Australia and China, monitoring the same birds uh, as they pass through really critical feeding grounds in the Yellow Sea. Um, to Jing Li, who's a Chinese shorebird scientist and volunteer, uh, an activist in a country where it's not easy to be an activist, but who, who advocates very successfully on behalf of shorebirds. And to people like Phil Brunner, who's an Alaskan um, shorebird scientist, been working there for um, decades and who very kindly uh, enabled me to fulfill uh, a really important goal in reaching there. Um, others encouraged me to write flight, li flight lines, friends and professional colleagues, but I'm most grateful to Sally Johansson, my partner. Uh, once again, I would like to thank the Royal Society Zoological Society of New South Wales for this honour, and I'd like to congratulate all my fellow recipients of Whitley Awards. Thank you very much.